Hey guys! In this video I'll tell you about quite a chemically reactive compound, which is sodium amide. Uh, and as usual I will show you a few chemical reactions with it. Hope you like it. Let's go! If we dissolve sodium in liquid ammonia, we will get a solution that's blue due to solvated electrons. Actually, the coloring of the solution depends on the amount of metal dissolved in it. That way, the solution with low content of metal is light blue. Whereas high content of it turns the color dark blue, black, yellow-brown and yellow-red. Sodium in liquid ammonia solution is moderately resistant. However, the long-term storage of sodium solutions in liquid ammonia is accompanied by their discoloration, it being the result of a very slow reaction. With the vaporization of ammonia, we are getting sodium products that provide its interaction with air and sodium amide. Pure sodium amide resembles sodium methoxide very closely. Sodium amide may easily ignite on contact with naked flame. If sodium amide is left in humid air, it will quickly deliquesce, becoming unusable for chemical synthesis. Being stored in dry air, it produces yellow-colored volatile oxidation products that may explode on their own. To accelerate the production of these yellow peroxides, sodium amide may be placed under an ozone flow. Sodium amide reacts with water violently, forming ammonia. can be seen by bringing a pH indicator strip to the reaction mixture. What pH this test strip shows? Type in the comments. Reacting with acids, sodium amide produces so much heat that even heat-resistant watch glass cannot withstand it. When the mixture of sodium amide and carbon is heated, sodium cyanide is formed with high yield.
also the evolution of hydrogen occurs. Sodium amide is incompatible with most oxidizing agents. Take a look at the reaction of melted potassium chlorate and sodium amide. Also, you'd better not grind sodium amide with chromium trioxide, as it may lead to the self-ignition of the mixture. Now it's time for the most exotic chemical reaction of this video, uh, which is the interaction of melted sodium amide with tungsten hexacarbonyl. At a temperature of a little more than 200 degrees Celsius, tungsten hexacarbonyl actively reacts with sodium amide. This black smoke represents the dispersed powder of tungsten metal. Thanks for watching guys, also special thanks to my dear viewers that uh, support me on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exotic chemical reactions and you can also support me on Patreon so I can keep making uh, this amazing content. See you in the next video.